just got invited to give a presentation at the world's largest neuroscience conference next week. Please help me prepare a brain model for our presentation. Thank you. Oh wow, that's exciting! Little scientist, I need your help. Hello, welcome to the Brain Research Center. Our mission is to educate the world about our extremely important organ, the brain. We use the brain to do all sorts of activities like seeing, thinking, speaking, moving, feeling, and even breathing. This is how the brain looks like. Our brain research center is built like the actual structure of the brain. There are three main areas, the cerebrum, the cerebellum, and the brainstem. Our brain has many unique cells called neurons. An average adult human has around 100 billion neurons. Neurons are information messengers. They use electrical signals to transmit information between different areas of the brain and from the brain to the rest of the body. Welcome to the first floor. Here you will be learning about the cerebrum. This is the largest part of our brain. Wasn't that amazing? The cerebrum has the left and right side. We use the left brain for logical activities like studying science or solving math problems. And we use the right brain for creative activities like painting and dancing. Fun fact, the left brain controls the right side of our body and the right brain controls the left side of our body. You did well in the challenge. Nixon, look! Just now, different parts of your cerebrum were glowing. Correct. Let's look at it more closely. The cerebrum has four different areas that are responsible for different functions, such as sight, planning, sensing, and speech and memory. Welcome to the second floor. Here you will be learning about the cerebellum and brainstem. The cerebellum sits right underneath your cerebrum and is a lot smaller than the cerebrum. The brainstem is at the base of the brain. The cerebellum helps us with the activities that require fine movement and coordination. It gives you the sense of balance and prevents you from falling down. If my cerebellum is injured, I will not even be able to walk properly. How does your brain tell your legs and fingers to move? Great question, Bobo! The brain is part of the nervous system. The brain sends signals through the brainstem to the spinal cord and then to the different parts of the body, telling them to move. Signals in the system can travel two ways. Your body parts can also send signals to the brain so it can decide what to do next. Listen carefully, Bobo. Our body is always at work. Our brain stems also controls our involuntary body functions, such as heartbeat and breathing. Ooh, hot chocolate! Ooh, wow! That's so hot! Nixon, it's weird. You just moved your finger, but we did not see any activity in your brain scan. Yes, Bobo! This is called a reflex action. Reflex actions are immediate responses by our body to protect us. When you touch something extremely hot, you want a fast reaction. As soon as the signal of a hot object reaches the spinal cord, the spinal cord will tell the finger to move away immediately. You're reaching the end of your visit. Now, let's take some time to relax. Want to watch the full video? Sign up now and get started with your own free trial.